A civilian employee of the U.S. Air Force who is also a retired Army officer has been accused of sharing classified information on a foreign dating website. Scott McFarland is following this story and another high-profile case linked to U.S. military secrets. Scott, a dating website? Good morning. Hey, Tony, prosecutors say David Slater had a top-secret security clearance after retiring as a lieutenant colonel for the U.S. Army. He worked as a civilian at Offutt Air Force Base in Nebraska, and prosecutors say... He attended classified briefings on the war in Ukraine with U.S. Strategic Command between February and April 2022. They allege Slater sent classified information through messages on a dating website to an unnamed co-conspirator who claimed to be a woman living in Ukraine and who allegedly referred to Slater as her secret informant love. He's charged with conspiracy, makes his first appearance in court in Nebraska today. I'm Ravana, and welcome back to Rebel HQ. A civilian employee of the Air Force, David Franklin Slater, has been arrested and charged for disclosing secret national security information to a woman on a dating site. Because, fellas, the best way to get a woman to go out with you is to share with her your non-public highly classified government information. And if you're wondering how on earth that conversation could have played out, her asking him to share with her closely held government information and him just giving it to her, thanks to the indictment, we can actually answer that question. Here are just a few of the messages that she sent to him. The first one reads, Dear, what is shown on the screens in this special room? Is it very interesting? The next one reads, By the way, you were the first to tell me that NATO members are traveling by train and only now, already evening, this was announced on our news. You are my secret informant love. How were your meetings? The last one reads, Beloved Dave, do NATO and Biden have a secret plan to help us? But wait, there's more. This one reads, Dave, it's great that you get information about redacted country first. I hope you will tell me right away. You are my secret agent with love. Then, sweet Dave, the supply of weapons is completely classified, which is great. And then, my sweet Dave, thanks for the valuable information. It's great that two officials from the USA are going to Kiev. And if you're thinking, surely he's caught on by now that this person is attempting to get information out of him, or he realized he was in deep, deep crap because he shared classified government secrets, he did not. He just kept giving them to her. Dave, I hope tomorrow NATO will prepare a very unpleasant surprise for Putin. Will you tell me? And... You have a job in the operations center today. I remember. I'm sure there is a lot of interesting news there. But sweet, beloved Dave was so love-struck that he never for a second considered why this person was so interested in the government secrets and whether or not it was a good idea, it wasn't, for him to be sharing them. And because of this, he could be spending the foreseeable future behind bars. But he's not the only person who divulged government secrets in order to come off as cool or to win the affections of women on the internet. Massachusetts Air National Guardsmen pleaded guilty today to leaking military secrets and just breaking tonight another alleged leak of classified intelligence by someone working inside the U.S. military. Courtney Kuby is at the Pentagon tonight. Courtney, what are you learning? A Massachusetts Air National Guardsman pled guilty to leaking sensitive national security secrets, including highly classified military documents also about the war in Ukraine. Under a plea agreement, Jack Teixeira faces 11 to 17 years in prison. A federal judge scheduled sentencing for September. What the hell is going on at the Air Force that all of these guys are just giving away our government secrets? Now, Jack Teixeira, you might remember as the Discord leaker. But unlike whistleblowers in the past, he wasn't sharing documents and information that he felt showed the wrongdoings of the United States government. He was just showing documents marked classified and top secret so he could look cool in a Discord server that was populated by literal children. 
He was posting these documents so that high schoolers would think that he was cool. That guy was given a security clearance, by the way. And that was a major embarrassment for the United States military. That this 22-year-old idiot was sharing highly classified information and potentially damaging their military strategy that they're sharing with NATO and Ukraine in its war against Russia. And now they found another. Not a mole, not a whistleblower, just a man who met a woman on a dating site who had a particular interest in his job. But maybe this should be a wake-up call to the United States military, and apparently specifically to the Air Force, that whatever vetting process they're doing to give these people security clearances surely isn't enough. And to sweet, beloved Dave, just a tip for the future, if and when you ever get out of prison, it should raise some red flags to you that a woman's particular style of flirting is asking you for NATO strategy. But the heart wants what the heart wants. And apparently, what that heart wanted was highly classified government secrets.